Hello and welcome to the status report overview of Skagen Global in July. Let's take a look at the highlights for the month. After a difficult June when the fund fell 5.7%, it recovered some of the losses in July and climbed 3.8%, slightly less than the benchmark which increased by 5% over the same period. One new company was added to the portfolio and we increased our positions in two others. Two companies exited the fund and we reduced our holding in another. At the end of the month, the portfolio consisted of 101 companies in total and the cash position was 5.9%. Year to date, Skagen Global is performing well in absolute terms and is up over 15%, which is over 4% below the benchmark on a relative basis. Looking longer term, it has delivered annualised returns of over 17% since inception in 1997, which is 13% ahead of the benchmark. Now let's take a look at the month's contributors and detractors and the fund's two largest holdings topped the winners and losers list. Citigroup, the fund's largest position at 6.4%, was the best contributor as the company's share price increased by 9% in US dollar terms. The US bank reported very strong quarterly results during July with both top and bottom line numbers exceeding expectations and the company delivered good progress in several key areas. Despite already achieving much of its future capital and liquidity targets, Citigroup continues to trade at a discount to book value. We think it can continue to improve profitability and we expect the shares to eventually trade at a premium to book value. We also see the strong results increasing the likelihood of aggressive share buybacks going forward and we therefore see significant upside in the stock. Turning now to the debit side and Samsung Electronics, the fund's second largest holding at 6.2% was the worst detractor, with its share price down 8% in local currency during the month. The Korean company announced Q2 results with strong semiconductor and display earnings, countering high costs in the mobile division as a result of its global launch of the Galaxy S4, channel expansion and R&D spending. Samsung's earnings are on track to meet our 2013 expectations, however, and with the company sitting on an increasingly large cash pile, we expect a dividend distribution is becoming increasingly likely. Now let's take a look at what changed in the portfolio during July. Starting with the buys, and Vale, the Brazilian mining corporation, entered the portfolio. The company's shares have performed poorly this year due to reduced expectations for Chinese growth and sliding iron ore prices. The current valuation appears overly pessimistic, however, and the dividend yield of 5-6% to 6 should be safe. We increased our holding in Noble as the offshore drilling contractor continues to improve its operations with a focus on cost control. The balance sheet is solid and as the company's current capital expenditure program comes to an end, there could be better cash flow and increased dividends going forwards. We also increased our position in AIG as we are seeing increased evidence of the US insurer moving forward with its restructuring and of greater conviction in the investment case. On the sell side, we sold out of Nabors. The drilling company announced a profit warning at the start of July, and as the land drilling market is becoming more competitive, we sold the small position that we owned. We also exited TRW Automotive after the US supplier of automotive systems delivered good share price performance, helped by a share buyback program and stellar operational performance. We continued to reduce our holding in Toyota Motors, also on valuation grounds, after the company's strong recent share price performance. Finally, a quick look at the fund's top 10 holdings, which together represent 30% of the portfolio, and we can see how attractive current valuations are. The companies together traded a weighted 2013 price earnings multiple of 7.4 times, which is at a considerable discount to the index, and we believe there to be around 46% upside based on our current target prices. That's it for this month. Thank you for watching and for more information, please visit the Scargan Global section of the Scargan website.